How's everyone doing tonight? Sorry for the darkness. I thought I had some lights on out here, but we don't have any lights at this point. We're in week eight of the course. We're looking at chapter 15 and 16, and you're going to have a quiz this week. So what we're going to do today is review what's going to be on the quiz and focus on the quiz and the concepts this week. Now, for the quiz this week, we're going to be looking at a permanent increase in a country's money supply. How is that going to affect the price level? So that's question one, number one. What is a permanent increase? There's a difference between permanent and temporary. Permanent means we're always going to do it. Temporary means it's going to be a one shot in the arm. How is that going to affect the money supply? Question number two is going to be looking at the purchasing power parity and how does it hold? What are some of the assumptions have to make for the purchasing power parity to hold? Question three is going to be looking at interest rate differences between countries. What does it depend on? It's going to depend on inflation and it's going to be depend on the expected direction of exchange rates. Question four is going to be looking at money. In this section, what does money include? And what does money evaluate in this section? Question five is looking at the aggregate de money demand. What does it depend on? It depends on three key factors, the aggregate money demand curve. Question six is looking at the exchange rate between currencies. When you look at the exchange rate, it's the exchange rate is the exchange of one currency for another. Question seven is going to be looking at four statements. Which statement is the most accurate? And the statements are going to be focused on the relative purchasing power parity between the absolute purchasing power parity. And which one is most accurate out of those four statements? Question eight is looking at the monetary approach. And you're looking at it, is it based off the long run or short run when you look at exchange rates? Question nine is looking at the difference between a permanent and a temporary increase in money supply and how that affects the appreciation and depreciation of a currency. Question 10 is looking at an increase in the country's money supply and how it affects the appreciation, depreciation of a currency. So what you want to focus on in this question is if the money supply increases or decreases, how does that affect the interest rate? The interest rate's the key because when we look at exchange rates, the interest rate is basically not the borrowing rate, but the savings rate. So for this week, read chapters 15 and 16 and the quiz. And I look forward to your effort this week.